T-Rex arms, Ray Riggs came out and they look awesome. Now, everyone deserves to have a good way to carry magazines and gear, but not everyone can wait for chest rigs to come back in stock or have the money to buy them, so I'm going to show you how to make one out of duct tape. Starting out, I cut a piece of paper to 4 inches wide, which is how tall the Ray Riggs are. The paper isn't necessary, you could just use duct tape strips, but this makes working with the tape a lot easier. Once the paper is all taped up, the next step is to fold it over and begin making the mag pouches and form the front of the chest rig. Use a magazine as a template and you can get the dividers right where you need them and also use tape on both sides for added strength. Now if you've watched the T-Rex talk about the Ray Rigs, Lucas talks a lot about how he wanted these to be low cost so that we could equip as many good people as possible as soon as possible. I couldn't agree more which is why I'm making this video. Lucas also talked about the ready rigs being great options for equipping your friends because the rigs are as cheap as they are. And as we all know, teamwork is essential because it gives the enemy someone to shoot at other than yourself. So equipping your friends is a great idea, and if you can do it for the cost of a roll of duct tape, even better. When my brother tried my AK duct tape chest rig, he loved it, so I'm actually making this rig for him to use. Before, when he didn't have anything to carry mags and we'd run drills, he'd have to fish the magazines out of his pockets and although it worked, this is going to provide a much more stable platform and consistent magazine draw. For the cummerbunds, we're going to start off with two 4 inch tall strips, but we're going to use a slightly different method to create the pouches. Now because the duct tape doesn't stretch like the material on the ready rigs, I think the cummerbunds will be more comfortable following the curvature of the body if there's a little space left in between the pouches for them to bend. And you can do this by taping down an extra portion of the top strip in between the pouches. The first pouch will be small for a small flashlight, multi-tool, or a single pistol magazine. The second pouch is for a, another AR magazine, and the third pouch will work well for a small trauma kit or admin pouch. And for that one, I'll completely enclose the bottom and add a closing flap on top so we can secure the contents. Once you've made two of those, you can then use more duct tape to act as your Velcro. Using tape instead of the Velcro that's on the T-Rex arms rigs isn't preferable as it won't have the longevity of Velcro, but it will get the job done. You may just need to replace it with fresh tape every so often. Just be sure to fold over the ends of the duct tape so you have something to hold on to when you go to peel off the cummerbund. After that, you can either tape the two cummerbunds together in the back or you can make another panel to attach them to. Since I'm making this for someone else, I thought having the extra adjustment would be nice. This way I can ensure he can wear it over a winter coat or underneath one. Shoulder straps will be made using tape folded over on itself and attached with as much tape as you see fit with the straps crossing in the back. I taped it up and then tried it on several times before getting the sizing just right, but if you're like me, you've got more time than money anyway, which is why we're making these. Lastly, I'll reinforce the X on the back to make it more stable when donning and doffing. I think carrying extra tape on the rig for field repairs is a good idea. Instead of carrying an entire roll of tape, you can just use a piece of cardboard and make your own compact roll. You can even store it in the admin pouch you made. There are so many things to buy when you're looking to build out your kit. Making your own chest rig, whether it's out of tape or sewing fabric, is a great way to save some money for the time being. And once you begin to use it, you'll begin to have a clear picture of what you want for when you do go out and spend the money on a name brand rig like the T-Rex Arms Ready Rig. But remember, you can have all the gear in the world, but if you don't do the things, it's worthless, so get out there. Like and subscribe, I'll be sewing together a plate carrier in a future video. I've already ordered the Desert Knight camo material, so stick around for that and have a great day.